Welcome to the world of wall mounts. We at CSFG are thrilled to see that you have chosen to use our chassis for your piece of art. Since you've made this awesome choice, we also presume that you know your way around building a PC and thus we'll only go through how to assemble this case. Building it, that's something we'll leave for you to design. These four wall distances are attached with four screws each from the front. These are the ones that grants the case the room for both airflow from the radiators and cable management. The two top ones are also where the wall mount attaches and keep the case on the wall. The case comes with four glass distances, these can either be attached now, early on, or at a later point, and their only function is to keep the hardened glass cover in place. Make sure they are well attached as the glass is quite heavy. Next up is the power button. Pull the cable through the middle path of the aluminum housing until the button is firm in its middle position. Then place the button on top of it. Insert the button from the back side into the hole in the middle and bottom of the case. Attach it with the two screws from the front. The power supply bracket is adjustable in three different positions. Depending on the length of your power supply you can choose how you want it placed to make sure you get the look that you want. The bracket is attached with three screws screwed in from the back side of the case. The graphic card holder is composed of three pieces, a bottom plate, the top and the bottom, held together with three screws under the bottom plate. The holder is then attached to the case with three screws from the back side of the case. Don't tighten these too tight early on, as you might want to adjust the placement of your graphics card when you're routing your tubing for the water cool. The holder gives you the ability to slightly adjust the graphics card or something. The support for the graphics card is attached with two screws from the back side. The support can then be adjusted vertically to match the height of your graphics card. Don't tighten these too tight until you have decided upon how you want your graphics card over. The case comes with five distances for ATX motherboards. Each one of them is attached with screws from the back side of the plate. A power supply shroud in aluminum is included in the package. This is held together by the cover stretching between the top and bottom part of the shroud and attached with one screw on each side. We advise you to assemble it early on to see how you want to adjust the power supply shroud and the power supply holder depending on the length of your power supply. 
Once you have decided on the shroud and the holder's position, we advise you to remove the top cover to have an easier time connecting your cables to the power supply. The SSD holder is attached on the back side of the case with four screws holding it from the front. Make sure you assemble this before you install your reservoir or the blood fountain distribution plate, as they will cover the screw holes for the SSD bracket once installed. The SSD holder is attached on the back side of the case with four screws holding it from the front. Make sure you assemble this before you install your reservoir or the blood fountain distribution plate, as they will cover the screw holes for the SSD bracket once installed. If you have made a choice to get the blood fountain distribution plate, you will need to install it after installing your SSD holder and HD holder. It's installed with 8 screws from the back of the plate into the aluminum bottom of the blood fountain. The Spectre D5 pump top is another peripheral that you can purchase for our chassis. The Spectre comes with an o-ring ceiling that needs to be placed within the Spectre itself. Then place your D5 pump in the Spectre and thread the aluminum distance through the cable down on the acrylic part to lock the pump in place. To make sure it's tight, attach the four screws and tighten them diagonally from each other. Remember, do not tighten too hard as the threading goes into the acrylic and too much force might crack the acrylic. Once these four screws are in place, insert the pump cables through the corresponding hole in the wall mount and then place the pump through the hole. From the back side you then have four screws that go through the wall plate into the aluminum distance. Make sure these are well tightened to avoid vibrations from the pump. Thank you for listening to this manual. If you have any questions or run into trouble, feel free to join our Discord channel which you can see in a link below. Here you can find others who have used the case or get hold of company officials who can give you advice. In terms of RMA, if you have purchased our products through a retailer, you must talk with the retailer first and foremost. We wish you the best of luck with your art project. Thank you.